Yo yo, so in this simple and quick tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this really nice cloth simulation in a Cinema 4D 2023 um, using a model I recently did for Work Louder as a kind of fan project um, and I went for a nice thick fabric kind of twirl look um, to really focus the viewer's attention I guess in the middle of this whole scene. So let me just bring this geo into a new scene um, get rid of any tags and extend this timeline. Delete the keyframes so we can start from the very beginning. And as well, go to filter and turn off work plane. Cool. So initially, I'm just going to add a collider object to this uh, geometry that we want to collide with our cloth. So after we've applied the collider tag, I'm just gonna bump up the friction to one so the cloth isn't, I guess, slipping around the whole product. And then I'm gonna go to here, go to plane, change these settings to about 100, 150 by 150, and then bump up the segments to 100 by 100. That way we get some nice folds and details. Cool, so after that, we are gonna add a cloth tag to this to kind of enable cloth simulation on this plane. Um, just gonna go to here, 200, just to get some nicer details. Cool, so after that, I'm just gonna plug that into a subdivision surface and then a cloth object so we can get some thickness after. However, I'm just gonna turn down subdivisions and turn these two off, just so it's not too slow when we're running the simulation. Cool, after that I'm gonna put a turbulence into the scene and I'm gonna bump up the strength to 100 and change it from acceleration to force. Then I'm gonna go to fields and I'm gonna add a random field which you can find here. Cool, perfect. So now that turbulence, kind of, we're gonna introduce some more, um, I guess, detail to the scene. After that we wanna go to mode project and just make sure the gravity is set to zero so the cloth isn't falling down um, but now if I play this yeah we should get some nice ripples and details in the cloth cool after that I am going to add a rotation force just so we can get some nice folds developing around the product um, and then I just want to rotate this rotation force down on this axis down 90 degrees and I want to change some settings in the rotation. So we're going to change this from acceleration to force and bump it up to around 50. So now we should get some kind of ripply cloth which is spinning at the same time. After that, I'm just going to go to here and I'm going to animate this keyboard kind of coming from here and then going, I guess, below this cloth surface. Um, so we're just going to go to here, coordinates, and set a keyframe on the Y axis. And then we just save this. Document cloth. And I'm just going to disable going to disable everything um, just so you know, we don't crash cinema and then just go to frame 110 and just move this down um, to about there and then enable everything again just not these two now after that you know we have this nice animation on the keyboard when we press play the keyboard should collide with the object creating some nice yeah, that's exactly what we want. Creating some nice folds. Don't worry about kind of all of this here. As soon as you turn on subdivision surface, that will all go away. And then just to add some thickness, go to cloth surface object and add uh, not that much, about that much thickness to it. And as you can see, that's just added a nice, it's just extruded the cloth out a bit more. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That is the look.